everybody and we are at pizza that's right we made it from Firenze here in less than one hour the goal for today's episode is just to go to the pizza tower and enjoy the local food that is just what I want to do right now and maybe take some drone footage so just follow up and let's start on this trip I saw Firenze's challenge it got cancelled come on I couldn't wake up early to go and see but it, it's no problem Firenze it's a city that I will go back for sure because I said before you cannot do it in one day you need at least one week to fully go to all the museums and appreciate all the renaissance art so until the next time arrivederci and we're just walking from the station it's about a 15 20 minute walk towards the Union Tower of Pizza and we are finally beginning to cross the river right now I'm just gonna show you guys so this is the bridge that crosses the river over there you can see some historical church but you have to pay to go inside I don't have any change on me otherwise more than happy to contribute to the preservation of these landmarks anyways huge river here love the architecture let's just keep walking and find this pizza leaning tower or the leaning tower of pizza first uh, trying this cacciata here from pizza italy first by there delicioso the first culinary gem is called scaccione, which means cachata, sorry, cachata, which means uh, pressed down, basically. I forgot the name in English, so sorry, guys. <laughs> Aplastado. Anyways, pretty good. Different than the one in Florence. Florence one is a uh, thing more. It's bigger in size. So finally we are here good people Leaning Tower of Pizza and the Cathedral is right there and then the Duomo We're gonna try to go inside the three of them but first let's do Leaning Tower, let's go up And so we got the tickets Boom, 18 euros Let you go to the tower, to the top and to the church and we're coming in five minutes so it went pretty smooth let's just go up and see we're going up right now and i already feel a little bit dizzy because everything is like leaning towards each side <laughs> and we have like 300 steps to go but looking forward to go up it's an experience so here you have people this is the top and it's just crazy how tilted this is come on like you can lose your balance very easily, very easily. A secret passage off, so I'm just going up. Let's see where this leads. So this is it, people. I am at the top of the world, at least at the top of Pizza Italy. Here, by the bells, you have the cathedral over there. I mean, nobody tells you there's a second floor up. We just discover ourselves. What a great discovery, because this view is worth a million dollars. Everybody, again, if you ever be, come to Italy, let's say Firenze or any of these little cities in the Tuscany region, you have to come to Pizza Italy and you have to go on top of the tower. I mean, there is no doubt about it. Check it out. Even though that is raining, we don't care because this majestic beauty here is worth a million days of rain. So you this is such an adventure because everything is wet it's very slippery everything is uneven and like you're very likely to fall down and kill yourself basically so take it easy <laughs> it's a church it's right next to pizza linear of tower and uh, the entrance is included with the ticket to go up to the tower so you guys know that is an actual human skull from a saint, Saint Guido. 
lamp there was placed by Galileo Galilei. Imagine that. This church here is even more impressive than the Leaning Tower of Pizza. We saw the remains of a saint. There is other people buried there. It's just pretty crazy. It's beautiful. Lots of paintings. I, Galileo Galilei left a hanging lamp there. It's just so much history in one place. So please you have to come in here when you go to the linen tower remember the ticket is included i'm gonna get shelter right now because it's raining see you soon so until next time unfortunately we don't have time to go to the campo santo or the duomo but we went to see the pizza and the church very happy with the results right now it's time to munch to try some typical food because we have to take the, t the train, train in one hour and a half so let's enjoy it while we can who said pizza has to be in a circle not here in Italy so with that appetizing meal made in pizza from we scratch. <laughs> made from scratch here in pizza we have concluded our tour of pizza unfortunately we only had three hours here and you know it's raining what can we do we have to go catch a train right now that is leaving in 25 minutes and we still have to walk 20 minutes so anyways good news is boom we're going off to Milano and I am just crossing this bridge for the last time hopefully I'll be back in a few months look at this beauty look at that beauty like you can see the reflection of all the houses on the river this is just gorgeous check that out you guys have to come to italy great people great service lots of good food and it's basically a whole museum the whole country it's a walking museum basically like it is one of my favorites destination ever in the world Italia